I saw in the spirit realm on my way to Georgia, I saw a little figure falling. And the figure was a figure of a man. And I saw it falling like in the middle of nowhere from the sky. And as it was falling, it was a slow fall. But then all of a sudden I saw it bounce back up. It started to rise back up. And God said, release this word to the people and let them know that everything that's in me that falls down has to come back up. Watch this now. If you are in God, Everything that's on the inside of you that's coming to a low place. God said, I got a bounce back anointing to bring it right back where it needs to be. Y'all got to catch this now. And then God began to speak to me this morning. He said, talk to him about their attitudes. He said, their attitudes that's starting to fall a little bit. Starting to get a little irritated, getting a little frustrated, getting a little discombobulated. He said, talk to him. He said, because there's a falling in the spirit realm. He said, but just like it fell down, he said, it's coming right back up. God said, I'm about to give you the right perspective about what you are, who you are, what your purpose is what I have called for you to do. God said there's a bounce back anointing that's on your life. And he said perspective about your next level. Perspective about where I'm taking you. And some of you are looking at, well, God, I thought I was about to do this. I thought it was happening. I thought this. And God said, you see, and he was just showing me people thinking about their perspective and how it was slowly, almost like falling. But God said, get ready for the bounce back. Because you think that you're going to a low place. But God said, I'm taking you higher. I'm taking you higher in your thinking. I'm taking you higher in your seeing. I'm taking you higher in your attitude. I'm taking you higher in your purpose. Come on, somebody. See, there is a next level that many of you can't understand or can't even see. But you don't even see the next dimension that God is actually going to push you towards. Amen. And you're going to feel a little uncomfortable when you go into this next dimension because it's a little out of your norm. It's a little out of what you typically do, but God said it's because I'm breaking through. The God of the breakthrough is brown bouncing you from down to up. I'm trying to elevate you. I'm trying to take you to a high place in me. Amen. So as you see your life seem like, or your mind, or your thinking, or whatever it is, you feel in the blank that you see. It's almost like going down a little bit. Your health. I just heard that in the spirit. Headaches and backaches, I see that in the spirit. God said, as you see it going down, you see your health, your well-being. He said, watch this, it's about to be a bounce back. Amen. Somebody need to lay hands on yourself and say, I got a bounce back anointing. Then I'm not, if, if I go to a low place, I, I have no other choice but bounce back up. See, you see, you have no other choice but to bounce back up because you are in God. And God got you. He got your mind. He got your body. He got your health. He got your well-being. He got your purpose. It's in the palm of his hands. You got to say, I got to bounce back anointing. I refuse to give in to lowness. I refuse to say this it, it, it is what it is. You know what I say all the time? It ain't what it is. It's what you say it is. You begin to change the atmosphere. You begin to shift the atmosphere with your words. He says, so because, so as a man thinking, so is he. How are you thinking? What are the words that are coming out of your mouth? Is it life or is it death? Is it blessings or is it cursing? Are you always broke? Are you always sick? Are you always hurting? What is it that you are always producing that is slowly bringing you down? And you don't even realize it. You don't even realize it that the very words from your mouth are saying, no, I can't do that. No, I'm sick. No, my head hurts. No, I ain't got no money. No, I'm stuck like Chuck. No, I don't know what I'm about to do. No, see, see, we produce word curses. And God said, that's what you see in the spirit. You see the slow downfall because we don't watch the words that we say. We don't watch our minds. We don't watch the things that we are putting into our minds and into our spirit. God said it's time for you to watch what you say. Not only watch what you say, but watch what you do. I'm telling y'all something. See, people are afraid to get low with God. People are afraid of going down. But I tell you, everything that goes down in God has to bounce back up. Amen. You're thinking that I can't talk, I can't speak, I can't write, I can't, I can't have a good husband, I can't have a good wife, I can't, I ain't got this kind of money. I'm not thinking, you always got something negative. God said, stop producing Amen. words. That goes against what I have called and anointed you to do. Yeah. Everything in God got a bounce back anointing. Y'all heard me say this before. Jesus Christ had a bounce back anointing. He 
went down. He was up, but he went down to the lowest place we could ever go, and that was to hell. Jesus went down to hell only so he could conquer it. Come on, somebody. You at your low place, the lowest place in your life, only so you can conquer that thing that's trying to conquer you. Jesus went down to the lowest place, to the devil himself, and he conquered it so that you can walk in purpose, so that you can live and not die, so you can have everything that God called you to. Jesus had a bounce back anointing. Jesus went low only so he can go high. Joseph went to a pit only so he can go to the high place called a palace. And I gave this illustration yesterday. Many of you are a woman with an issue or a man with an issue. And, 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 and I'm going to relate this to the woman with the issue of blood. We know that story very well. And the Bible talks about the woman with the issue of blood. And how she went to the lowest place in her life. How she was at a low place. She was almost dying. She didn't know her right from her left. Her up from her down. But all she knew was Jesus was in the midst. So she at her lowest point. Watch this. At her lowest point. She even began to get even lower because the Bible talks about how she crawled or, or it didn't say she crawled, but it said she went through the crowd. She had to press through the crowd. And the only way that she could press through the crowd and get to the hem, the hem of his garment, was well, she had to go even lower than where she was at. See, she was standing erect, but she was standing erect in a low place. But in order for her to get to her breakthrough, she had to go even lower. See, y'all gonna catch that in the spirit. See, she had to go even lower to get her breakthrough. Uh -huh. And while she was at the lowest place in her life, trying to get to a breakthrough, trying to get to her next level, trying to get to that husband, trying to get to financial increase, trying to make that ministry, come on somebody, be what it needs to be, that business be what it needs to be. She was at a low place. And she began to crawl. She went low and even low. So she could touch the low place called the hem of somebody's garment named Jesus. And when she touched him, when she entered into his presence, God gave her that bounce back anointing. She was low, she went even lower, and when she touched him, come on somebody, he bounced her back up. Not only did he heal her, but he made her whole. Spirit, soul, body. You're in a season bouncing back and don't even know it. Every time you catch your thought pattern falling, stinking thinking, negativity, attitudes, talking about yourself not being able to have enough or being good enough, being pretty enough, being wealthy enough, not knowing enough, not doing enough. Every time you do that, I want you to see this in the spirit, how your everything is going low. And as soon as you realize the devil saying, I got her exactly where I, I want her. I got him where I need him to be in a low place. You said, devil, wait a minute. God told me I got a bounce back anointing. Amen. And I don't have to stay stuck like Chuck. I don't have to stay broken and disgusted. I don't have to stay beaten and abused, misused and mistreated. I don't have to look at myself like I can't. But I can in Christ Amen. Amen. Somebody need to get that today. Amen. Somebody need to get that today because God is speaking to somebody in a low place somewhere. Amen. Somehow, if I didn't touch on it, it's in you. You already know what your low place Amen. is. You already know what your low thinking is. You already know. Amen. God said, Lord, I need you to come on up. Amen. Son, I need you to come on up. And watch the company you keep. I just heard that in the spirit. I don't even know who this is for. Because the people around you, they are they are activating the low place that's on the inside of you. The people that are around you, I, I don't know, this might not be for everybody, but somebody has a whispering demon in their ear talking to them and telling them this and that and this and that, and they going low, they going low. The more they talk, the more, see what, what's happening is you are allowing those words to take root in your spirit. God said, begin to pluck it up like never before. Pluck up everything that's not like my God. Pluck it up and say, be ye removed. Every word curse every negative thought pattern that they are activating yeah. in you. Plot that thing up. Yeah. And God said it's time for some of us to let some folk go. 
And I hear it's some folk very close to you. Because they, and this is what God, I thank you, God. He said, because I'm jealous. Because they're taking away the anointing that's on your life. Wow. They are purring. They are, they are, I see somebody like being strangled in the spirit realm. Like you choking and you trying to figure out a way to breathe. You trying to figure out a way to catch your breath. And every time you catch your breath, you feel another choke come on. God said, it is time to let them demons go. See, see, in letting demons go, demons will use anybody. So, really, in reality, you're letting the person go that's been used by the demons. Come on, somebody. You got to say, enough is enough. I got to bounce back anointing, and the only way I know I'm going to make it is if I cut this person completely out of my life. I see some blocks going on. I see some deletes on Facebook. I see it. Come on, somebody, let's keep it real. Some of you need to be real and say, I really got to get this person out of, them, out of my life because they contaminated my spirit. And God told me today that he is jealous because my anointing is getting too low. God said, I can't use you like that. I need you to bounce back. I need you to conquer that thing that's trying to conquer you. I don't know why I'm lingering on this, but somebody needs to catch this today. Because we are grieving the Holy Ghost by when we allow other folk to grieve us. We grieve God because God said that it took you all out of all out of purpose. That it took you all out of way. And now I'm trying to use you and you can't even hear from me because you're in such a low place. It's time. It's the season. And it's the hour. Or your bounce back to be even stronger than it's ever been before in your life. Yeah. Anybody receive that today? Yeah. Come on and give God some glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm gonna